You guys, that was so much fun, I almost forgot my check engine light was on. How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We lived in a Prius full-time for three years, but now we're in a 4x4 Sprinter, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. On last week's episode, Camper Turns 3. We have a relaxing birthday celebration, spending time in the snow, playing Camper's favorite games, and of course, eating carrot cake for breakfast. After, we take you along as we adventure around Colorado. We go on many hikes, visit parks, bathe in hot springs, go axe throwing, and so much more. We leave off getting our heat fixed, ready to hit the road once again. You want to come back for when I move in so you can organize for us? I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe at some point. I love you. I love you, baby. Mm. Go slow, okay? Especially up through the mountains. I mean, is that even a question? I can't believe, I can't believe, I know, Grandma. <laughs> okay, Grandma Driver. I love you. All right, you guys. Uh, so we kind of stayed a little longer than we thought we would, but that was so much fun, wasn't it? Uh, but with that being said, now we only have seven days to get 1,500 miles. Uh, not only is our van officially done being built out, I did a full custom build out. Uh, it's gonna be wild, so I can't wait to show you that. But also, I have a really fun trip in store, so we're gonna try to get about five or six hours today. Okay, I just needed the keys up front. <laughs> you guys, I've had so many problems. I was just so nervous. There was another one. It's just me being a dummy. I mean, all the other problems are also probably me being a dummy, but here we are. Are you tired already? We just started our road trip, man. I almost learned the hard way last week that you're supposed to winterize your diesel fuel with like an anti-gel. So, came prepared this time. It just kind of feels like a good place to put it. We are not in a Prius anymore. Granted, I do have a 48 gallon tank. Uh, it was 30 bucks to fill my Prius. <laughs> that was 175 and we still had like a quarter tank. <laughs> Let's keep going. Camper, you ready? Camper. What are you looking at? Well, 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 isn't that convenient? A check engine light just for us, Camper. Oh my goodness, you guys, we cannot catch a break here. Uh, so the check engine light went off again. Uh, all you really can do is just stay positive and deal with it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna laugh about it. We're gonna find the spot to pull over. And I have a code reader, so we're gonna take that out and see what's going on. Mercedes is closed on Sundays, so that's out of the question. And uh, honestly, the closest one is at least 100 miles away. So let's hope it's not a lot. There's a rest stop and there's a coffee shop. Rest stop, coffee shop. Rest stop, coffee shop. Coffee shop. All right, Camper, what comes first? Coffee or fixing the car? Oh, you're gonna need some energy, lady. Get in there. Oh, you're such a good boy. Thanks, Camper, I'll be right back. I've been here before, I really like this place. Yes, I'm fully aware that I basically have bare feet in a ski town. <laughs> Hi, baby. You wanna see what I got? Hey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Wow, that didn't go as well as I was hoping. What do I feel like today is just gonna be a continual mess. I can't believe I just dropped my fresh bread 
Oh man, I gotta get in the bag. All right, bag and something for camper. They didn't have any dog things, so I got a little something something for you, my dude. There you go. Good boy, enjoy. Dirty bread bag. Oh. Bread's still good. Oh, I cannot wait to eat this. I feel like I should take a bite now. Great purchase. Bread with my clothes. That's gonna go flying somewhere, I'm sure. Got a code reader right here. Let's see if this will work. Pray with me now. I'm not religious, but I'll try anything. Honey, we're not in a Toyota anymore. We're in something that breaks down every second. Here it is. Oh yeah. God, you're a genius, Nicole. Oh. Are you supposed to turn the car on? Zero codes found. Hmm. I'm gonna send this screenshot over to someone who knows a lot more about cars than I do, but it says no codes found. I'm gonna call some people up, so be right back. All right, so here's what we got going on. Uh, I talked to the owner of this vehicle and a mechanic, and they both said, drive it. <laughs> uh, and reason being is because everything sounds fine, everything looks okay. Uh, sounds like it might just be a code that needs to be cleared now at a Mercedes. So if we pass one, we'll go ahead and do it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna keep driving and pretend it's not on. So thanks for the clearance, friends. <laughs> Nice printer, but yours out of check in, unlike you. But also, I think I found the culprit. Good job, Nicole. camp let's get ready for this hike we are at rifle falls state park gosh the last time i was here i was living in my prius it was maybe like three years ago um it's really beautiful it's not much of a hike it's more of a walk but totally worth it to stretch the legs when i was saying it's a short walk i'm talking super short walk i think it's maybe like half a mile round trip you got a lot of snow melt, so it's a little muddy. All right, you guys, we made it. Not only do we have this gorgeous triple waterfall, but if you come around the corner, there's also some really cool caves. Let's just hope it's not too icy today. I'm not gonna lie, this is slightly terrifying, but I also forgot the headlamp, so let's go exploring. What's back there, dude? Oh, okay, dead end. Oh, this is cool. Woo! Oh, what's up there? Oh man, camper, you are brave. What do you guys say we keep going room to room? Yeah. Wow. We have made it to the big room. We've made it out of the cave. It's very icy this time of year. Woo, gotta hold on. I love this loop trail. All right, you guys ready to see these falls from the top?
go see him from the other side. Oh my goodness, you daredevil. slide down on our tush. I have a feeling this is just going to be a big sliding fest. Woo, woo. Yep. That's about right. Okay. All right. This ice is not safe. We're going back the other way. Oh, shoot. All right, you guys. I didn't have that on camera, but I had to slide all the way down. And now my ass is freezing. You ready to go already? <sighs> you guys, that was so much fun. I almost forgot my check engine light was on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo! Camper, you feel like you got some drive in you? You wanna take first shift? Lady, have you seen these paws? I have. I don't drive. I get chauffeured. You're right. A little prima donna. We're gonna go a couple hours to Moab, where I know of a hot shower, an empty campground, hopefully, and help if it's needed. All right, see you in two hours. <laughs> Camper, can you name something that is better than an empty campground? Uh, yeah. When no one's at a national park, when there's a punch of sticks and they're dry, when you jump in the fresh water and I get some alone time, fresh meat. We will deal with this tomorrow. All right, you guys, I am so excited to be here. Could have done a rest area or something like that, but I really just want to take an easy shower and have it really easy tonight after a really, really long drive day. I think we got about six and a half, seven hours down. Also, in case you missed last week, uh, my 30 gallon fresh water tank froze when the heat stopped working. So don't have any water in there because there's most likely a leak. And I just didn't feel like figuring that one out. I just have two gallon jugs of water that I use for drinking and showering right now. Back to the Prius days. So we're just gonna make life easy. Um, Camper, do we want to shower first or do we want to eat first? Camper, which one? You know what's on the menu tonight, my dude? We got chicken, lamb, sweet potato, carrots, broccoli, a little bit of kefir. Back to the good old days when I didn't have a water tank or a sink. I just bought some pre-made quinoa stuff earlier. I'm just gonna... This is dinner. Cheers. All right, boop. Are we at my favorite shower ever at a campground? Well, yes. Yes, we are. <sighs> Welcome to paradise. If paradise was a hot shower. Para, para, paradise. Oh. Just a young wild camper in the night. Can't use my sink. Make a boy. Bum, 
paramos. Is it a sin to wear the same clothes two days in a row? Don't mind if I do. Yep. All right, I need some greens. I just did a little research. Uh, it's supposed to rain until about noon, so we're just gonna let that pass. Uh, and we were gonna go fill up this oil, but uh, it's Sunday. I spent all day yesterday thinking, yesterday was Sunday, so. Here we are, we're staying in Moab till Monday so we can get some oil. Oh man, that guy had fun. Life hack, if there's two lines, hopefully the shorter one is moving faster. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. One thing I love about coming back to places, especially when you are a nomad like me and don't have a sense of community, is when you show up at a coffee shop like that and they remember you and you have conversations and they ask you about literally what you were talking about last time you were here and like that just feels so good. I really needed that. Ooh, cheers. It might be our lucky day. Online it said they were closed, but uh, the sign says they're open. Mercedes Benz oil. So they want a specific oil. Thanks for the help. yeah what a pleasant surprise that they were open and had the oil we needed before i speak too soon i'm pretty sure i need to go to a mercedes to clear these codes but you never know refill one quart all right just to be safe doing another code read by the way it's free to get code reads at places like this napa o'reilly's autozone According to their code reader, we got nothing wrong, so hopefully this will go off while we're driving. Oil spilled up. What a pleasant surprise. I thought this place was gonna be closed. Yes. All right, we got about an hour till the rain passes, so maybe we'll drive to a trailhead and I don't know. just in time for the sun to come out. All right, you guys, we are doing one of my favorite butt buster trails. It's a thousand feet straight up. We got the whole place to ourselves, as you can see. Can you believe cars will drive right here, right on this cliff edge? It's nuts. Speaking of cliff edge, come on camp. You're scaring me. This is what we call outdoor CrossFit. It's where we're doing sled pulls backwards actually for the knees. It came from right there. Part mountain goat, part royalty. We have the camper Delventhal species. We got a 
gotta block the wind here. Let's hustle down to the car. Camper, master of hiking, bringer of the sticks. Home sweet home. All right, guys, we're going to do that one more time, but this time without the camera. A lot of times I will do my hikes twice for the reason that filming and making these videos is a lot of work and I don't really get as much enjoyment out of the hiking. So, uh, hence, we're going to leave the camera back. Uh, so we'll see you in about half an hour, 45 minutes, but probably a lot sweatier. A few moments later. Generally, I'm ridiculously healthy. I was gonna make some really healthy kefir, but uh, I wanna have the sourdough I got yesterday with some cheese. Oh my God, this looks so good. I love being in a van. Where else can you go on a hard hike and then make yourself some food? Anywhere, put it in your backpack. Mm. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and turn on notifications. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time completely ad free, join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all. Woo! We're good. Just being dramatic. I guess mom got out of point. I am getting passed left and right here. See ya. Yep, nothing to see here. Pass me. Pass me. Yep, another pass.